morning, guys. What a wonderful day outside today. Today is Sunday.、Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going out to enjoy this wonderful, lovely weather because today is a bit of a vehicle maintenance day. So two weeks ago, I went to Southwest WA,、uh, Harvey Dam, Brunswick area. It's a very popular spot for a bit of four-wheel driving.、Uh, there are lots of technical tracks out there. It's not just technical; they're wet. They were wet as well. Because it's the end of WA winter, so lots of moisture, lots of cold front and rain. I got stuck quite a few times. Call my wind chill, bottom out. You you can name it, all that sort of things. After the weekend, I drove back. I drove back to Albany, and I in that 300 k's, I noticed、uh, that in general the car produced、uh, a lot more noise.、Uh, that could be from tires. But it could also mean that、uh, there are pro- there are problems in the drivetrain component of the car.、But、ladies and gentlemen, in this episode, I will show you what sort of general maintenance I will do after some really really tough tracks、uh, before I take her to my local mechanic for for a body check. Check this out! All the mud in there.、Uh, you can imagine what I've take where where I've taken this car into,、uh, and. To be honest with you, before I drove back from Kali,、um, I have already cleaned up a fair bit of mud under the car.、Uh, likewise, at the, re- at the rear dip as well. You know, it's actually best to wash out the car before you start a long distance driving, because that's when things can start worn out.、Um, the, the car gets damaged in a long distance driving rather than the tough track itself. So, what I did before I came back, I、um, I had to make sure. All the tires are nice and balanced. Wash up all the mud from the four tires.、Uh, otherwise, the mechanical component can be really, really bad. And in the same time, you also have to check out、uh, under the car, see、uh, if there is any component got damaged.、Uh, and in this case, it was mainly just a bit of dried mud. And I,、uh, and I, as, as I told you, I've removed quite a fair bit of、uh, dried mud、uh, after I came back and before I came back as well. So let's get stuck into it, shall we? Yes, I know exactly what you are about to say. Why did I not get a trolley check? Yes, it will be very lovely to have one、um, because I, I'm, I'm about to change.、Uh, I'm about to move home, move house.、Uh, so I just want to maybe move first before getting a new sort of、uh, garage gadget.、Um, it will be actually very nice to have a hoist to do that too. Very handy. But anyway, it has been、uh, jacked up, and、um, we're ready to inspect、uh, what's under the car. It's nice to just pull out the winch rope because I did use the winch on muddy ground. So it's very nice to、uh, to pull out some winch rope and soak it、um, in some mild soapy water, just to make sure next time when I use it,、um, it is in a perfect working condition. Um, you don't really want the winch rock to fail、uh, when you're in a sketchy situation. Right here, welcome to the bed of my car.、Um, so basically, what I'll be doing first is remove all these all these bash blades. There are three pieces under the car, and I'm very glad that, to be honest with you, to have it、uh, because if I haven't got these bash blades, this trip I'll be stuffed. Because、uh, I'm just looking at the transmission bash plate. Check this out. There's a dent there. Do you see that? There's a dent there. Apart from removing all this mud, I'll I'll be removing all the bolts and and have a proper inspection、uh, above the bash plate to see、uh, if there's actually damage in there.、Um, but I'm really really glad that I've got this bash plate.、Uh, to be honest with you, so、uh, looks like the cross member has been hit pretty hard and、uh, the bash plate's been bent.、Uh, so we'll take that off and have a look. Uh, well, the the diff the the some the, I think the engine some bash plate has been held up pretty well, apart from lots of mud in there accumulated. We'll take that off and have a, have a have a proper clean up.、Uh, now the front bash plate,、um, it's a bit of a concern. Nothing nothing happened.、Uh, it's been protecting the cooling system pretty well,、uh, but this bolt has been had been sheared off. I have no idea why. And now.、Uh, For some reason, this bash plate is pretty loose as well. I, I wonder if I actually tightened it properly last time. The, the good thing is that the bolt is still there, but、um, that explains why 
when I when I'm driving, there's a, bit, a, fair, a fair bit of rattling noise on a on a highway. Um, so, yeah, definitely replacing the bolts. Now, guys, I've successfully removed all the bash plates, and we'll go. We 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 are about to have a look at the uh, car under the car in a second. Um, now, but before going through under the car, let's have a look at the bash plates. And these are the three, one, two, and three. The, th the three bash plates I've removed under the car. Um, they, I mean, look at the stuff they that they have protected from the car. Um, if this doesn't convince you to get bash plates. I don't know anything, I don't know what else will, um, but I have to say I'm really really glad that I've got these three pieces of mesh plates, otherwise um, I'll be crying in a moment. Um, mind you, my, my, my style of driving is pretty gentle, so if you, need, if, you, if you have a really pretty rough driving style, you may want to consider something a little bit thicker as well. So this, this is basically a 3 mil mesh plate. Um, I'm actually considering going for four meals in the future once these special plates can't, can't take the punishment anymore. Uh, but I mean, now let's have a look at the, uh, the situation under the car. Now I'm not sure if you can see this very, very well, but my first assessment, uh, well, the sway bars um, and the lower control arm, I think they are in a pretty good condition, apart from a fair bit of mud in there. Um, over that side, same. So the um, the um, the diff guard has pro has protected quite a fair bit. I'm, I'm pretty happy about it. And let's let's move on. Move in and have a look at uh, what what's happening in here. So it looks like that is the drainage point of the front diff. Looks like there is a bit of a fluid, uh, a sign of fluid around here. Uh, but anyway, I'll clean it up first, and and I'll start booking in for for an appointment for a proper inspection. Uh, so this may worry me, but at this stage, it looks like everything seems working okay. There's no dent, uh, diff looks intact, but it might have been just a bit of a leak uh, from loosening. All right, okay, let's move on. That's the front diff. Uh, now that is my, uh, I think my first or second cross member. It's just a little bit dirty in there. Nothing major. Uh, yeah, just a bit of cleanup and maybe uh, a bit of touch-up paint as well. Uh, I usually put a layer of oil in here, so it uh, uh, doesn't seem to get rusted over time. Uh, now, let's move on. Uh, transfer case is pretty happy, so no, no sign of leak, nothing, nothing major at all. Um, now, that is the uh, third cross member. This, this dent is pretty new, I suppose. Uh, so, it's a pretty strong structure, but I'm pretty sure that it is fine. I've got a bash plate that, that strengthens the, uh, this, this cross member as well. Uh, fair bit of cleaning job to do, again. Uh, well, that, that one there is a long, long time ago, so I'm not worrying about this. So, in general, I reckon the vehicle is in really good condition still. So looking at the shaft, uh, that is also another point that can be uh, that requires maintenance. So at the moment it looks pretty okay. Uh, it probably requires a bit of greasing in here, and likewise in the tail shaft, probably requires a bit of greasing in here as well. Uh, since I haven't quite done it for 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 quite a, quite a while. Um, uh, chassis rails, sliders had been doing a really good job protecting uh, the door seal and all that sort of thing. Now, the diff at the back, I'm not sure if you can see it, yeah. So, a lot of clean up. Uh, once that's been cleaned up, uh, we'll have a proper look under there. Um, not sure if you can see it, uh, I'm trying, trying to focus a little bit better. Oh, here we go, yeah. Do you see that? That's the front axle, uh, probably the bit of, a, bit of an oil leak in the front axle seal. Uh, I actually talked it to uh, Albany Mitsubishi a while ago. I, I asked, uh, is, it, is this a warranty job? And they cleaned it up and said, no, nah, there's no leak in there. So they're pretty hopeless, really. Sometimes the dealers, they're, they're, they're not worth our visit. Um, and now clearly there's a bit of a leak in this axle seal. Um, see how it goes, I might have to fix it. And uh, as a usual kind of inspection, you look at the CV boots. 
the CV boot is pretty intact. Um, no matter the upside side uh, on the on the right side or the bottom side, is uh, is pretty intact. Likewise on the other side, uh, I'm actually pretty happy about the CV CV boot, how the CV boot is at the moment. Um, so they're good. They're good. Beautiful. Now finally I've done removing all the sticky mud uh, and the dry mud as well under the car. Um, I mean lo look at that, that's the amount of, in, in this pile of mud here, that's the amount of mud that got stuck in the third uh, uh, cross member only. Um, that's the amount of mud in there. So it's best to remove them because in the future you might get into some trouble with rusting. Uh, so remove all of that entirely, fantastic. Now. It's pretty clean in there, uh, and uh, obviously you, you want to have a quick inspection of the CV boots, uh, which I've just done just now. It's very important to inspect the CV boot um, to make sure there's no puncture in there. Um, if there is puncture, that needs to be replaced. Um, sometimes the CV boot can be loosened, and the whole you know you, you see the the, the clamp there. And that can be loosened as well, so you have to make sure it is nice and intact. Uh, otherwise, moisture goes in, soil goes in, then uh, eventually it results in the uh, mechanical failure in the front axle. The vehicle um, is still in a really good working condition. Well, after I came back, I've been driving around town without any issue, apart from the sound, rattling sound I've noticed under the car. So, which I found out that what well, that was a loosened um, bash plate. So that, that's it. Um, so I'm going to give this car a nice wash um, and wash out all the remaining dirt under the car and um, the car will be good as new. Alright, so at the moment in a DIY car wash, just uh, washing off the rest of the mud uh, and also remember to do the underbody of the car as well, uh, the bottom of the car. So that's it uh, for now, stay tuned. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that summarizes the whole maintenance procedure after, uh, after a bit of rough four-wheel driving. I reckon this is no-brainer, because the more maintenance you do, your car lasts a little bit longer. If you want your car to last for like 30, 40 years, that's basically what you need to do every time after rough four-wheel driving. The rougher, uh, the, the, the more rough four-wheel driving you do, the more maintenance, the more frequent maintenance you need to do. Um, so you see that the water is still dripping there. I, I just came, I just come back from uh, from DIY car wash. Um, so usually what's after this, I let it dry first, and then I'll apply some lubricants um, to the belly of the car. Um, every every uh, cross members on the chassis as well. So just to decrease the the, the rate of uh, erosion, um, so the chassis lasts a little bit longer, things like that. All right, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next episode. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at 4 x 4 Adventure WA. I'll see you there. If you have any suggestion to the video, please comment down below.